So what is a formula anyway? Well, a formula is a mathematical relationship or rule expressed in symbols, and you've been using formulas for a long time. For example, finding the perimeter, distance around a rectangle, you can do that by taking the length, multiplying it by two, and taking the width and multiplying it by two, right, and adding those together. The textbook defines a formula slightly differently. It says an equation containing two or more variables that is used to solve practical problems I don't necessarily like limiting it to an equation because you'll discover later on that you can have formulas that have inequalities, but um, typically they are equations, so it does make sense in some ways. And there are two or more variables, right? So you're saying something is equal to something else, right? And so here we have three variables in this particular formula. We can have two or more, and we've got got a formula and they are used to solve practical problems. Our ability to use formulas like that really reminds us that God's word is fixed. He is the one who created all things by the power of his word, who set these laws in motion, who holds them together. His word doesn't change, which means we had better pay attention to what he said in his written word, the Bible.